what's up everyone so um been doing a lot of thinking and just trying to collect my thoughts this past few days and um been pretty difficult but it's something I already knew and it's just I feel like it's something I'm just now really, really realizing. Like, no one's going to go as hard for you as yourself, no matter what. And, um, at the end of the day, that's how it is. Fire Flames. Gonna go check, or, I'm gonna go check to see. The office had any ripples. Um, try to give your guys content, the best content I can. Lately, it's just been a lot of depression, keeping me away from people and stuff. And when I say keeping me away from, I mean talking to and doing stuff that don't involve money and shit. Um, it's not easy. No one really ever said it would, it would be easy, you know, <clears throat> and everything, um, get a pipe loaded, I'm gonna smoke with your guys, I'm sorry, I'm just really, like, I'm just snapping into reality just now, like, I, I'm, just really trying to get my thoughts together, and it's really not working out at all. Jesus. But, uh... <clears throat> stop saying that I didn't really do much today though kind of woke up late and you know just was up through the night and I'm gonna be honest it's depressing when you're up all night and sleep during the day because most people are during the day then by night most people are just asleep nope no. Mm. Things part of the problem. Motherfucker doesn't answer me half the time, and when he does, it's usually just no. Anyways, uh, say. I asked a question. I think me not having a regular life is not an honest answer.
to shut the fuck up. If I ask a question, just answer it. I don't give a fuck if it's stupid. If I say what the time is, or what the fuck is the time, where the fuck English is, motherfucker. I got two, walk, three, four. I don't give a fuck. Just answer the question, please. And stop fucking tapping shit. I was looking the, down the whole time, he blew it out, I did not even see a cloud at all. I blew it above your head. Oh, and that's why. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just for, like, video purposes, honestly, like, I've been thinking, damn, I might get a new piece. But then it's just, like, we have a lot of pieces right now, not only that. Like, we really can't afford it. You know, I feel, everyone feels me on that. Um, being self-employed has nothing to do with it. Like, anyone who's self-employed could agree with me. Because people aren't making money. People aren't employed. So how are they going to, you know, how are they going to pay you, you know? It's nice. It's definitely nice being self-employed in a time like this. Because people always want a fucking handout. People feel like they deserve a handout so, so bad. And it's just like, no, motherfucker, I'm struggling just as much as you. Just as much. anyone who I feel you know has been with me for a certain time even this motherfucker you know if you've been with me back when I was broke or this and that like yeah I'm gonna give you a handout of course those aren't the motherfuckers I'm talking about I'm talking about motherfuckers who I've known for maybe a year or maybe a few years, like, uh, let me put it this way, if I haven't known you for five years to a decade, like, well, I'll take that back, if I have not known you since 2017, like, you're probably, like, not the person who like I fuck fuck with, who I would give shit to, who I would be like, hey bro, you need something, hit me up, you know what I mean, like, shit, like, I've said a, a lot of good shit about being self-employed, and there is a lot of good shit about being self-employed, 
But people don't look at you like a boss when you're a company. They look at you as a company, just you as a company. Like, I'm looking at my webcam right now, like, me. They look at me as a fucking company, bro. They look at me as an industry. Like, no, I am a person. I run this. You know? And it's just been... It's just been something I've noticed. I was about to say something, you know, I'm dealing with and struggling with, but I've said that too much on this video. And, you know, to be honest, I've been self-employed for a while, just not on the point of, you know, providing for myself, providing for others, paying bills, and y'all know what I mean. With that being said, you know, it takes years to start your own, like, anything. You know, if you're doing something, no one's gonna fuck with you at the beginning. No one's gonna believe you in the beginning. One thing, I just remembered saying that. So a few days, or I've been depressed for a few days. But about yesterday, I was... I was taking a piss, actually. Fun, funny place to actually get, like, a thought that just stuck, stuck with you. They're always going to look at a leader crazy because a leader is making the way. A leader is not a cookie cutter, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I hear new Uzi music, I, I usually don't fuck with it at the beginning. I got to listen to it, you know, a few times, and then I understand, I feel it. Same way about Young Thug. There's people who make that type of music. There's people who make that type of art. There's people who are like that, period. And, you know, going back to what I was saying, struggling with this and depression, this... It's because no one's done it like me before. It's because there's never been me before. You know what I'm saying? Not to say I'm a legend or I've done all this yet. Yet. You know, that's, that's the key. You know, you never want to give up. And... Just be positive, bro. Because it's something I've been struggling with. Cheers. fucking some days some weeks i don't eat i stay up for days just so i can get my bag point and blank period just so i can get my bag make sure i'm good let me put it this way let me put it in order make sure the people around me and be my day ones and my family are good more importantly, my son. Then, make sure, you know, my message gets out there and people feel me. Then, I worry about myself. And people don't realize that. You know, people will see it and they, they forget sometimes. Like, and I'm not throwing you under the bus. But he's constantly passing out some some nights. And I'm sitting here, you know, doing math, doing calculations and shit, you know. Like, oh, I need to take this off for this, you know. 
point is, he knows what I'm going through. He knows that that my way of life is literally all I got left. And he knows that, but in the back of back, he puts it in the back of his mind. You know what I'm saying? And I understand people who do that, and I understand where they're coming from, because I've done that with a lot of things. You know, when my great-grandmother passed away, I, I really did that. You know, I just put it in the back of my mind, like, never cried about it, ever, till this day, never. You know, I, I feel very, I feel like my heart is black when when I'm like that. That's the best way I can describe it. This goes back to what I said in the very beginning of this video. No one is going to go as hard for you as yourself. Because no one truly knows how you feel or what you're going through or what's on your mind, really. Because I, I just wish I could turn off my mind sometimes. I wish I could put everything behind me. Damn. I, I, I know there's got to be some people in their 30s, 40s, maybe even later than that, who watch me or is listening to this right now, who have lost all their family and can't, you know, call anyone or go anywhere. It's just like, I still got my family, like, you know, but it's the kid in me just like, damn, I want to go home. Like, fuck everything, bro. But I can't. You know, I got... I have shit to take care of. I have people who depend on me. You know. It's rough. It's fucking rough, bro. Most of the time, you know, you see me. I'm sitting here being you know, really motivational, you know, I'm smiling, I'm laughing, you know, and you can say, Fred, but you're fucked up all those times, or Fred, you're this, that, going through everything I just said a second ago, is it not good for me? To be motivational is it not good for me to be happy? You know? That's why I'm saying sometimes people don't look at me like that. They look at me as this or that. You know? I'm a leader. I'm a father. I'm a friend. I'm a son. I'm a YouTuber, I'm an artist, you know, I'm all these things, but people want to put me in a box for one thing, regardless if they know that they're doing it or not, and that's where a lot of my depression comes from, honestly. And it just gets to a point where, I've said it before, I just can't explain things right. I've never, I, I've just always been socially awkward. So when I get nervous or when something happens, I just, da, 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 like, I don't, I don't make my words out right. So, here it comes off is, oh, you're, 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 you're fucked up or you're, you're, you're this, or you're that, or you're being rude, or you're being hateful, it's like, no, I just want you to fucking listen, period, you know, and I never had felt that way ever in my life, until my mom left, 
And like I said before, that's where it all really stems to. You know. She's not the only one. When I lost my son and my baby mom walked off, like, it was... That was really the breaking point. And then a year, a little less than a year, actually, when we went to San Antonio, that was, like, I give up. I don't care anymore. I don't want to try. I just want someone to kill me. Because I can't. I can't do it. I just can't do it. But then, I got too much pride, you know, just the way I was raised to stand up for myself and shit, like, I keep a gun on me at all times, if anyone was to try anything, like, bro, I, I wouldn't be the one to die. That's fucked up. But it comes from the way I was raised, my environment. Like I said, you know, no one, no one's gonna really understand. I know people who hate me are gonna watch this and they're they're gonna be happy as hell. They're gonna be sad and this and that. I wanna address it now, that's why I'm bringing it up. I guess what I have to say to that is if you have any humanity in you, if you care about anyone other than your fucking self, you know, just think of me as, you know, what if I was your son? What if I was your brother? What if I was your cousin? What if I was your dad? What if I was this? What if I was that? It's just kind of, but like, just, if y'all can't do that, I feel like, Y'all just ain't human enough to feel anything, really. If you can't feel bad for someone, bro. Like, I, I feel bad for my enemies at the worst times. That's the thing. My enemies and my enemies. My enemies are just people who I love and care about who I really just can't let go. Or they can't fucking leave me alone. You know, that's really all it is. Doing more videos. He's going to be doing more videos. Um, I'm bringing myself to it. <coughs> this is. It's like damn. Start. You want to start the video. And it's just like. What do I talk about? You know. Like, I know this video is a mess. I know my last video was a mess. I know the video before that was a mess. I know the video before that was a mess. 
But I'm not gonna stop making videos, cause y'all fucking want them. What else are, are y'all gonna watch, you know? Hey, shit. I don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure there's someone else y'all could smoke with and chill with, but... People like me, people, some people fuck with me. And saying that, I want to address something I, I said on my last video. Um, the whole thing about people who like me too much or people who hate me, like, being a narcissistic person deep down that really hurt me and with my abandonment issues, at the end of the day, all I want is people to care. All I want is to people hit me up. All I want is for people to ask, how are you doing? All I want is love. But then I get that shit, I'm just like, fuck off. You know, I fucking ignore it. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to make an effort for you know, the relationships or the friendships. It's more or less. Like, I feel like I'm not getting nothing out of that. You know, if I know you, if I fuck with you, if I knew you in the past, you know, cool. If you're trying to get, me, get to know me now, good luck. <laughs> good luck. You know, I don't hit people back. I don't get on social media but once and and again you know like <sighs> basically what I mean is I want to get my shit together before I do anything or before I think about anything or can can think about anything. Fucking, I was watching, a, I think it was a DJ Smiles interview with a Omini, Omini in the Hellcat, in a Hellcat. And, uh, I don't know who he who he is. I'm pretty sure like his name looked familiar, so I'm pretty sure I seen a video or two. Anyways, he fucking he was an entrepreneur, you know. And you know what Cody is. So he's putting them on the fire sticks and selling the fire sticks, getting them for forty and selling them for like a hundred fifty with the Cody on it. So, basically, just marking it up and shit, and he, he had another thing, this and that. Anyways, like, he was saying, you know, I didn't sleep, I didn't eat, like, you know, I only had so many pairs of clothes, like, I was just like, I'm not gonna spend any money on this or that to, like, you know, or I'm not gonna make sure I'm good until I get a million dollars. And he said he made his first million. And he was in the club and then he's just like, oh, I made my first money. He realized it, sent all 20, 20 bottles and like got balls for the whole club and shit. And just... After a few days, he started thinking, he was just like, damn, now I want $2 million. Then he got to $2 million, and then he was like, damn, now I want $10 million. You know, now I want $20 million. You get what I'm saying?
I just contradicted myself just because I don't have the the pride to admit I was wrong. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Hopefully you don't know what I mean. But yeah, I have way too much pride to say that. So that's why I fucking just overlapped. Packed in the Let you guys go. Be sure it's for nothing but peace, love, positive vibes, and as always, peace out.